Right, so I'm here uh, at TPH St. Louis. They have me work as a mentor with the kids once a month all season, this first inaugural season there. Uh, the head of TPH St. Louis is one of my ex-pro guys, one of my retired pro guys. Played for the Blues, and he's Phil McCoy. Unbelievable human, unbelievable guy. TPH and St. Louis are super lucky that he stayed in St. Louis to work with these kids. Super excited to get out here, surprising them first time being on the ice. This is going to be fun with these guys. Let's go. My name is Philip McRae. I'm the director of TPH St. Louis. The program is really geared towards a high level student athlete that typically they have a more demanding schedule than maybe someone who's not playing at a high level of youth sports. Um, they have a lot going on. So at the academic side, uh, it's a little more flexible and geared towards students that are gonna be missing more school, um, traveling a lot, and the academic side is you know, geared towards helping them have success and get to keep up with their schoolwork, even with their hectic schedule. Of course, the kids, they come to the school because they love hockey, they want to be on the ice, they want to be the best hockey player they can be. We try and make the players a better individual player. A lot of the foundational skills, a lot of skating, power skating, shooting, puck handling, but it's really the academics and how they're carrying themselves on a daily basis that we're preaching the most. If they do want to play college hockey, for example, if that's their goal, you know, you have to have the academics and you have to be a good person first and foremost, or it doesn't matter how good of a hockey player you are. Hey, nobody's too good to pick pucks up, let's go! You know, when I took the position here, one of the first people I really wanted to get involved with our student athletes was Jeff, because Vex, he has a way of getting his athletes to buy into what he's doing. And he truly does care so much about all the kids that he works with. He practices what he preaches. A lot of people, you know, they know about the nutrition and the sleeping habits, mindset, uh, all the things that are important, but Vex practices what he preaches on a daily basis. He has a way of just getting his athletes to, to buy into what he's trying to, to help them with. Coach Beck's last day, he's going full gear. Keep your head up, all right? That's assault, brother. You know what I'm saying? You're saying know what I'm saying too many times. Because I'll tell you what, it's not the big things that make a difference. It's not, oh, I got a great toe drag that makes you get to the next level. It's the little tiny details that you guys at your age don't think matter, but they matter more than the big things. And that's one sexy goal a year where you walk the whole team. At the higher levels, that stuff doesn't happen. It's, do you move your feet? Do you create space? Do you play with your head up? Do you shoulder check? All these little details Cooper and Phil are telling you, I guarantee you, if you focus on those every day, the little tiny details, the big stuff just happens. 